Chance Week continues here on Number Six with Cheese. Today, a spot that Chance said is perfect for a late night snack. We're gonna go full entree. This is Mr. J's Dog and Burger. You ready? Oh, you better believe it. He's ready. Guys, real quick, we don't know if Chance is gonna see this. Tweet it at him, tweet it to him, tweet it at him, do it, do it. This is his handle, please, thank you. Two Dagwood half pound double cheeseburgers for Mr. J, dog and burgers acquired, one of Chance's spots, one of his picks, jump cut. In the River North neighborhood, ready for a Corey Wagner second angle. We've never been to Mr. J's, let's do it. All right, first off, I love how it seems like your mom just packed you lunch. Mm. Making it feel homey, I like that. Mr. J's. Let's see what we got in here. Napkins. Slow down. We need those. Uh, hamburgers, whoa, feeling hefty. No tomatoes. Why'd you do that? <laughs> They're customized. This paper, wow. Open it up. Bun looking weird, but I like it. One seed on there. They put they Uno. accidentally got one seed on Uno there. Seed. I think. Uh, I'd lift it, but I think it's cheese glued, cheese glued down. Then under that we got our hamburger meat. Looks like the 10 for 10 Kroger burgers. It does. But I respect it. It kind of does. Uh, big old pickles. There you Get go. Those out of there. You got some to take off. Let's get all both. Tomatoes now. looking dope. I don't want those either. Then we got onion, lettuce. Some other pet, there's a, a green pepper of some sort. I don't know what this is. It's squishy, it's a it's greenish pepper. Sport pepper. Sport pepper. And yeah, it's a classic American hamburger, I guess. Mm -hmm. I'm excited about it. This is the only thing that had its own customized, framed piece of art. Here's your no tomato one. For the item. Everything else, you know, there's like stuff on the wall. This had a big old Dagwood special, was the thing, the most prominent billboard in the place. Wow. So we'll see if it's good. Why are they called sport peppers? I don't know. I didn't come up with the name. Huh. Dagwood special. Mr. J's. Cheers. Cheers. A classic American burger. That's really how you describe it, you know? That's the perfect assessment. CAB. Man, I dig the sport peppers on a burger. I, I haven't been into any yet. I don't like them on I don't like them on Chicago style hot dogs. But this I kinda dig it. Yeah, I could see that. It's funny what you can do. People don't understand how I mean people do understand. Burgers are so easy. You can get cheap meat, cook it, throw cheese on it. And as long as you got the right ingredients and condiments, gotta get them onions to add the flavor. Uh -huh. Gotta get good mustard, good cheese, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be dope. Oh yeah, I got one of the sport pepper. Yeah. Go. You like it? Mm-hmm. So a few months ago, Chance the Rapper teamed up with Postmates. Yo, it's Chance the Rapper, and I am uh, proudly announcing that my nonprofit, Social Works, is partnering with Postmates. Uh, if you place an order, uh, within Chance's Chicago Favorites, uh, you'll be donating $1 to Social Works. So, uh, do that, please. It's like a delivery food service, like Grubhub and DoorDash and stuff like that. And he, Chance made a list of restaurants that he loves in Chicago. And for every order placed, Postmates would donate $1 to Social Works. Chance's charity, they did it over the course of a weekend, donated thousands and thousands of dollars. Mr. J's is on that list. Some other good ones. Nando's Perry Perry was on there. Even Chipotle was on there. Wow. Chance isn't above Chipotle. He's about that. Shake Shack, but a bunch of local places. So we had never tried Mr. J's. I'm gonna touch this park and just in closer. This is the most double park I've seen in a while. Also, this van has a lot of mirrors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just a classic burger. I bet it's great late night. 100%. It's nothing, uh, it's not like the Loyalist or anything crazy where it's like, right. 
something super special, but yeah, it's a dang good double cheeseburger with great uh, added ingredients to it, such as the onions and support pepper. When you see the old Mr. J sign, they've never updated that. This place has been around for a long time. Mm -hmm. How long? I think it's like over 70 years. Wow. It's been on that corner, slinging Italian beefs, burgers, sandwiches, dogs. That's awesome. Uh, excellent burger. It really is. Mm-hmm. Cheeseburger is one of those things that you don't need a lot of thrills. Just make, like you said, get quality ingredients, put it together, and you got a good package, you know? You don't always have to do all kinds of crazy stuff with it. It's kind of like pizza where the average is great. Like an average pizza is really good, you right. know? Right. An like average it. burger is really good. This is an average burger. It's not anything special. Not at all. But it's really good. Got one of the menus here. Just gonna... This is really only like a 15, 20 minute walk from my apartment. So, you know, late night Sean might get down on it. <sighs> you ever had a ribeye steak sandwich? Yep. You ever had a hoagie farmer steak sandwich? Yep. You ever had a deep fried breast of chicken? Oh yeah. Yeah, some great, some great ones on here. You know you see a lot of these places in Chicago, a lot of these beef spots, they'll always have a pizza puff on the menu. You ever had a pizza puff? Yup. What are those like? You've had one with me, no? Not at mm. Cheesy's? Actually, maybe we had one even on the uh, a Brewing Review episode. But I always see pizza puffs on these menus. I don't know if I've ever actually had one from one of these places. Mm. Please don't back into me, bro. Thank you. I, I saw those those sorority letters. You were in a fraternity. Is that one of your sisters? Kappa Kappa Gamma. God. Darn it. All right, just a quality American burger. Absolutely happy right now with that. Before we get out of here and listen to more of Chance's brand new album, you want to do a shout out? I sure do. Podcast shout out, podcast shout out, podcast shout out. Oh yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we got a podcast. I know we've been pitching it a time or two, but here's the thing. We got lower numbers than we expected. We got a big group of you guys out here watching all our videos, and we know it's a little bit of a different thing. We understand that, but we really are making something we feel like you guys are going to love. Had myself another little adventure. Went to a, a wedding on my dad's side of the family. Got properly blacked out. It was a hell of a wedding. Cool. Mm. Started off uh, a couple highlights from the wedding. Kylie got offered uh, in the ladies' restroom by a senior citizen. <laughs> Gosh darn elderly woman offered her a little vape with some weed. Said, hey, you want to hit this? Wow. Old ass lady. And then... So we yeah. want to make sure that you guys are aware of it because sometimes... Honestly, we're not great at promoting our own stuff. It's hard. It's hard. We got a lot of stuff to talk about. We want to make sure we do all our shouts out to our merchandise purchasers and to our Patreon supporters. Almost landed the alley. Uh, but, you know, we want, also want people to listen to our podcast because we think it's really fun and really dope. So if you guys haven't checked out the Unemployables pod, we got a YouTube channel. We got a SoundCloud. We're on uh, Apple Podcasts. Across the board, uh, Spotify? Oh, yeah. We're on Spotify. Oh, yeah. So if you guys want to listen to about an hour of a couple of idiots saying really funny things while giving advice, uh, it's pretty fun times. Some people from 9 to 5, they want nonstop laughs, Corey. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping that we can deliver that to yeah. them. Hey, say you got a long commute? <laughs> Podcast. Say you get bored at work and you want some background noise? Podcast. Say you got a long flight to Zimbabwe? Podcast. Just a few examples. Also, didn't mean to um, be so distracted, but I've never seen someone who looked identical to Cisco skateboarding. Yeah. So that was cool for yep. me. Yep. Let me see that song. I was a Cisco skateboarder. Can't Ollie? Maybe can, but couldn't that time. So, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. Three straight days of Chance the Rapper's brand new album tributes via food that Chance the Rapper himself loves in Chicago. I gotta tell you this, we may have made three straight days of videos for Chance, mm -hmm. but my uh, album listening is not gonna end after three straight days. This is about to be maybe three straight months. This might be the entire summer. I might just have that uh, track album on repeat. I listen, track album, I Chance listen, album on repeat. Yeah, yeah. I listened to 10 Day and Acid Rap like it came out today. Seriously, dude. Patrick Welby told me. King of Chicago music, Patrick when Welby. Chance the Rapper dropped Chances. acid rap on Spotify a couple weeks ago. It it got up to five on the Billboard list for a new albums, which is hilarious. It's been out for like four, five, six years. Uh, Chance, next time you guys drop an album or next time you're in town, if you end up wanting to get on an episode and instead of talking about all the food that you love in Chicago, um, if you want to actually eat it on, on, uh, on camera with us, we'd love to have you, my friend. And like I said, buzzed. Always welcome to come to a stand-up set. Yeah, come to a set at our show. 
Guys, hope you liked all the chant stuff. If you're in Chicago, definitely, if you're in River North and you need a late night spot, oh. Mr. Jays will do it for Especially, you. Especially, I feel like a lot of people stay down here. Oh, they're this coming is in town to as hotels. tourists. Oh, yeah. And like a lot of the places that we do up north, you're not gonna take a train up at two in the morning or whatever. Like, no. that's a fantastic spot to grab a late night. That's gonna be very satisfying. And Mr. Jays, if you're watching this video, amazing service in there. Thank you so much for, they were so shocked they didn't want fries and drinks. Oh, I believe it. Because their fries are supposed to be really good. They're just the golden, like, they're like kind of what everybody loves. But yeah. We, we a couple of big boys, dude. You can't be, uh, can't be filming slimmed. seven uh, videos a week. Early. We filmed a lot of videos this week. So. Yeah. We'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new episode of this show. Thank you so much, Chance. Hope you saw these videos. It'd be so insane. And we'll talk to all of you guys tomorrow. Peace. Peace.